All right, we are 10 days till the Super Bowl, and it is time for predictions. I'm Mark Stewart, and I actually, though I don't follow football, I've actually had a good run on Super Bowl picks for the last decade, 8-1. and one. I did not make a pick last year. So here's my pick now. It will be San Francisco. I don't have a strong reason, except I'm rooting for them. I kind of like when young coaches do well, so kind of rooting for that. And they were my pick a year earlier. And it's such a shame. I should have bet this year. But last year, early 2018 season, they were my pick. Garoppolo got hurt. They didn't do much. I think 5-11. and 11. Uh, But this year, stayed away. Happy to see them doing well. Even though, as a city, it is the least deserving city for an NFL crown. Okay? Kansas Cityans, rock-solid people, and football's in their veins. San Francisco, there are some, okay? And they turn out for 49er games. I lived in the Bay Area for five and a half years, so I know. Glory years under Montana and and uh, Steve Young. The San Francisco, it's amazing that they still have a team, given their predisposition for non-traditional, okay? The population... Unfortunately, the ruling population want to fight almost every element of tradition. And so, yes, they are the biggest Colin Kaepernick supporters. Thank goodness they jettisoned him. The whole NFL did. Kansas City, I would love to see you with a championship for the sake of your fans, but I think San Francisco is going to win. By the way, there's a one-year-early prediction that is very prescient, okay? It goes to this guy. It was really four years early. Take a look. You can't see it too well. This is my 2016 January pick for who or the likelihood of who would be president elected in 2016. Trump was not dominant at the time, so he did not go high on my list. Number one, for 2016, he wasn't even running, but he is at the top of the list now. Biden, even more so than Clinton. Clinton got second. And look at, let me just bring the back column of people who were not even running at the time. And now, wow, look who in the back five, all right, I've covered up the sixth. Steyer didn't even know he was running. I did. Warren probably planned it, but I predicted it. Bloomberg? I don't know if he thought that he would be running. He didn't even think he was running as of October of this year. So, not bad for the four-year advance prediction. Again, the first column, mostly by Republicans, except at the top two. And it was... Uh, so again, if you couldn't see it, my prediction for 2016, Trump at 7% chance of becoming president. Sanders at 6% to be named later, 5%. Bloomberg, 3%. Warren, 3%. And Steyer, 2%. Um, up on that first column, the number one pick by me for 2016 Joe Biden at 29%. No, he was not a candidate at that time. And had he not wished out, I do think he would have been president. Seems to be working out pretty well for him now. I don't think he can beat Trump. I don't think anyone shown on this list can beat Trump. That 12th man, and it is a man, I do think can. That will be revealed later. I am Mark Stewart. Thanks for listening from New Hampshire.